Hey, er rief und er rief. Er rief, er rief, er rief, er rief. Du, 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 er rief, er rief. Happy birthday to all my Aryans. Okay. Hope you guys are having a good season. So this is going to be a bonus reading. Let's see what's coming to you in love. Please keep an open mind as these messages are general. If you hear me sniffling, sniffling and sniffling, guys. I have really bad allergies, seasonal allergies, okay? All right, what is coming to Aries and love spirit? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, reconciliation. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm, yeah. So you definitely got a reconciliation coming to you, Aries, okay? It's telling you that it is safe for you to love because this is poking out trust and keep an open mind. Hmm. Well, let's see what this freak did to the Ari or vice versa, what you did to them. All right, we're coming to Aries and love. Okay. <clears throat> Aries. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, so you got some type of give back here. The star is coming to Aries and love. So you could be connecting with, um, nine of cups. You could be connecting with an Aquarius here, a Leo. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting for some of you, somebody was being really selfish, okay, or something like that, or just not spending enough time, not being generous, not being open or available or something, okay? Um, it could just be because of finances or just work schedules or school or something like that, okay? But I feel like um, some of you... You really want an Aquarius or this Aquarius really wants you. Um, doesn't have to be um, sun. It could be moon rising Venus. But I feel like someone really, really wants you. And they want you to have hope in them again. Okay? Or vice versa. Because it just feels like somebody just wasn't being like generous or open or something like that. Okay? Leo energy too, okay? So someone's looking at this opportunity with you, looking at this connection, like, how can I win Aries back? Like, how can I um, maybe re-inject the passion in our relationship? How can I, you know, make Aries happy again? Or I do feel like this person overall cares about your happiness. They want to make you happy. They want to do something nice for you, special for you. Okay, I think this person is going to be very generous towards you. They could even ask you for a relationship. I do see someone like in pursuit of you, depending on like how long you guys have known each other, of course. But I feel like you're really passionate about this person, Aries. They're really passionate about you. Okay, or the passion is going to be improving um, in your relationship. I do feel like this person is going to want to like do something nice and special for you. Gemini pulled a similar reading. Could be connecting with a Gemini. Okay, they're going to do something here. This person got some tricks up their sleeve, but again, it's, it's a good trick. I'm hearing some things about the change in your relationship or your connection with this person. Like the dynamic in a good way. This person could be like making a commitment to you, um, wanting to be exclusive with you, proposing to you, renewing vows or something, um, taking you somewhere nice, doing something special for you. Because the main thing, see, yeah, four of wands, the main thing is that they don't want to see you walking away. Okay, maybe you walked away from this freak already or they walked away from you because maybe someone just wasn't like pulling their weight. They weren't putting in effort. Um, 
it may not just be because they didn't want to, right? Or maybe your relationship has just been on the rocks, going through a rough patch, like just really um, stressful. But I feel like what is about to happen is going to change things. Whatever they decide to do, um, I feel like it's going to give you hope again. Virgo pulled a similar reading. It's going to give you hope in this connection again. Um, they might even buy you something nice or treat you to something, okay? Or they just want to change their attitude or their behavior or something like that, okay? Yeah, I'm getting things have been stressful or you felt like it was one-sided for some time. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's going to give back to you. <laughs> now, if this turns out to be like a new person for you, this person's incredibly generous. You can meet them through work or I'm also hearing like the gym or just out and about. But I feel like this person is exactly what you need. Okay. Because this person is going to support you. Okay. They might want to support you financially for my females, but I do feel like they want to support you, support your goals, make you feel good, care for you, um, take care of your needs. I mean, this person's coming with it. They coming with it. Absolutely. And they're not taking no for an answer either. I, I am getting something about traveling. Okay. Like they want to go on a vacation or a honeymoon or something. Or start discussing like planning your wedding or something like that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So... They don't want you to leave. I'm getting for some of you, like, this freak was acting like the Five of Swords. Like, maybe they were being very mean or they just weren't, again, you have to make time for the things you want. So, they just weren't putting in effort or something. But that's changing with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, some of you I'm hearing, like, you've been in a, um, maybe they were acting toxic, okay? Something was wrong with them. But <laughs> justice, but they want to do the right thing. They have good intentions with you. Some of you I'm hearing you may have thought maybe they weren't being committal in the past. Uh, some of you, yeah, this person was non-committal, but now they're making more of a commitment to you. This person's gonna be real solid with you. Okay. Oh, my neighbor's dogs. But apparently with the Nine of Cups, this is pleasing you. Because I feel like you wanted this freak to come correct. And they know they got to come correct because they run the risk of losing you. So they're going to come correct. Okay. I feel like this person is going to give you exactly what it is that you want or you've been wanting from them. Whatever that means to you and your specific situation. Okay. This person's looking at you as the one for them, Aries, not the two. They're looking at you as the one, honey. And they will do anything in their power to convince you, to give them a chance, or to be with them again, or whatever it is for your situation. But you can trust it, it's solid. It is solid with this person. Okay. It's going to Aries some love. <clears throat> okay, so this is someone you've been in separation with, but it is in the reverse. So that means you're coming out of separation. They want to connect with you. They want to roll the dice. Okay, they want to take a chance. Anniversary. Oh, I'm getting this person that like, really wants to like wine and dine you, okay? Or do something real sweet for you, uh, Aries. <sighs> Damn, they could be locking you down, honey. It's about to get real serious with this person. That's what I will tell you, okay? More to learn. They want to fix something, yeah. Trust. I don't know if this freak broke your trust. But, or maybe you just got, you know, gave up, but it's meant to be a declaration of love. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, damn, and heat. Yeah, this could be someone who's been hold, like holding back or some shit, but... Wow. Wow, so this is what I can really say. Um, I got something special for you, that's for sure. And uh, this person's like, there's no way Aries is going to say no to this. There's no way... Um, you know, that Aries is going to turn me down or walk away now. <laughs> Unfinished business. Courage. And this person's real. It's the timing is now. Maybe the timing was off in the past. Either for your love life and meeting this person or just overall. Um, they got a crush on you. They got a crush on you. This is a faded meeting and a proposal. Social media. Some of you meet this person online. You will meet them online. But I think like this person from the gate, they're just going to be like showering you with so much love, affection, and just nice things. I mean, how the fuck? Can, how the freak can you say no? You can't say no to that. Yeah, we... And for my men out there, obviously, you know, I don't know how you identify, right? But, oh, you know, this could be your efforts. You're probably putting in a lot of effort for this person. But you feel like they're worth it. And I feel like your efforts are going to pay off. I, I think this person is going to take you seriously and they're going to accept it. Okay? No matter what the hell you did. This person is definitely um, on board with you. So, who is this reading referring to for Aries, please, and love Aries? We have Aquarius. <clears throat> Cancer. Who is this person for Aries and love Aries? Taurus. Virgo. And Capricorn, okay? Cool. So, let's see what they want to say. So they obviously feel like there's something special. And then they say, damn, you're fine as hell. I don't know if there was a little intimidation here. But they say your heart is safe with them. They have pure love and intentions for you. Come back kind of love. You got that comeback, Aries. Sure do, honey. Got that comeback love. I'll compete for you. I love you. I had to learn my lesson. <laughs> I'm hearing for some of you this freak. They let their ego get in the way of your relationship or what you guys had. Okay. I, I lied and tried to gaslight you. So I'm hearing this freak. They probably try to gaslight you in terms of like their ego not being the problem. When no, you were on an ego trip. And they want to make up with you. And I also feel like this person, like, they, they want to, like, show you that they're serious. Not only tell you, but show you. Some of you, this person was afraid of commitment. And they could be finally, like, committing to you. Because now this freak wants to get married. <coughs> yeah, this freak wants to get married. Um, I'm getting like, this is someone that you're inspiring to settle down because the King of Wands is not always like the settle down type, you know, but I feel like you've changed someone's mind like completely. Okay. Even if, if this freak was a player in the past or whatever it was, friends with benefits. No, nah, baby, this person is getting serious about you because they know your worth and they're taking you on a nice date soon. They miss you. Did you put a spell on me? God damn, Aries. You got this freak whipped. Okay. What you like, what you wear. Okay. <laughs> what you like, what you wear. I think of you first thing in the morning. I'm hearing this freak doesn't even brush their teeth. Okay. And they think about you first. They're like they wake up and they're like, my, my Aries. <laughs> Okay. 
Mm -hmm. They have thoughts of marriage with you. Okay. You guys are each other's perfect match. And they're very happy with you or they want you to be happy with them. For some of you, this freak left you heartbroken. See each other soon. Clarify heartbroken for Aries and love. <clears throat> Deceiving you. And unsure of desires. Oh. So yeah, maybe that you felt led on by this person in the past or they were a player, um, vice versa. Let me clarify, um, heartbroken again for Aries and love. Why was someone heartbroken? A transformation, make it official and runner. Somebody was running away for some of you, um, but they want to make it official, letting the past go. Divine union. Okay. It's about to get serious, honey. So, hold on to your seats. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Um, um, this person's coming after you, boo. King of Wands is like, this is, look, it's time. I'm coming after you. So, yeah. It's real serious. They're real serious about you. They're about to pursue the freak out of you. Yep. So if you think it's a game, Aries, <clears throat> I'm hearing this person's not trying to play no games with you. Like, they're dead serious. They're dead serious. They're not playing no games with you. And I feel like this person, they want to put it on you or something. Okay. Anyway, let me clock out, child. So I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you for being here with me, Aries. Talk to you guys soon. Actually, no, guys. Let's do bonus. It's Aries season. I have these channeled messages here. Does this person really want to say to Aries, please? What wants to come through for Aries in love? I want to know about what makes you smile. I really want to make you happy. I want to give you everything and more. That's why I've been quiet and staying away from you. I don't want to ruin things. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for loving me the way you do. You've been so patient and I truly admire that. Some of you here, you really put up with this, with this person's, with this freak's shit. Who are you fucking with now? Don't make me lose my mind. I know you think I'm a player and not serious, but I do want true love and marriage in my life. So this person does want true, mar true love, and I feel like they want it with you. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of you, this person wasn't looking for a relationship, and that probably left you heartbroken. I'm secretly very attached and obsessed with you. I just don't want you finding out. All right. All right, thank you for tuning in, Aries, and I will talk to you guys soon.